In this video, I'm gonna talk about working on your life, not in your life. Now, I have a mainly a business YouTube channel. I talk a lot about entrepreneurship, digital marketing, how to grow businesses online, and I'm working usually from my office downtown Vancouver in the middle of the city. And this time, I'm out here in nature in a cabin in a slice of ocean called a fjord in uh, British Columbia, Canada. What I'm doing here is one of my twice a year solo retreats. And in entrepreneurship and business, people often talk about working on your business rather than in your business. And what I think is really important is extending that metaphor to work on your life, not just in your life. When I come out here into nature to do these retreats, there's a few steps I always go through. The first one is simply really decompressing from city life. So the first 24 hours I'm out here, I'm jumping in the ocean, going on hikes, taking in the sun. It's not sunny today, but the last three days were gorgeous here. And I'm just resetting my system. It's been documented and studied that when you change your environment, it leads to more creative thoughts. And then what I do is I go through a process and I've made videos before about these solo treats on my YouTube channel. And there's a lot of similarities every six months I go through these but little things change so what I did this time was I started off by reviewing every month since my last one of these solo retreats month by month I looked through the photos on my phone go through calendar events and really think back on what you actually did during those months then what I did is I went back and looked at the goals that I set for myself during my last solo retreat now some of these were business goals some of these were also personal goals a simple framework you can use is the classic health wealth love and happiness as the four main pillars of life, I evaluated myself on how I did versus those goals I set earlier. And what's interesting is it's always shocking to me, even as someone who analyzes their own life a lot, does these solo treats, how easy it is to forget the goals you set six months ago. And I'm often surprised to see what those goals were, uh, especially in areas that aren't easily trackable with a simple metric like most business schools are. And I spend about a full day really reflecting on the last six months or however long it's been. This time it's been, it's actually about 10 months. It took me a little while, I've been busy. So it took me longer than usual to get out here. So in this case, I was reflecting on the past 10 months. And I usually take a full day to do that. So day one is just simply relaxing uh, disconnecting from the regular city life, the stimulus. By the way, my phone is turned in airplane mode. I'm not communicating with anyone, which is really important because in the modern world, it's crazy that you know most people won't even go a couple of hours without checking their phone and messaging people, let alone a couple of days. So I have disconnected, reset my system, and then I go into day two, which is really reviewing that past six months. What worked, what didn't work? Am I actually moving the way I wanna move in life? And the third day is where things get more interesting it's about setting out my goals and intentions for the next period so in this case the next six ish months coming up and i set these goals for health fitness for business for my relationships even for where i want to live like how much adventure do i want in my life uh, what type of people do i want to be spending more time with or less time with it's a more challenging process than you think to really sit down and look at your life this way. It's also a foreign process for a lot of people to do this. Now, usually what happens when I do this process is I come up with way too many goals. There's like 20 to 40 different things I wanna do, goals that I wanna focus on over the next six months. And this is fine, because for me, the third day of this solo retreat is just really laying out everything I wanna do, everything I wanna accomplish over the next six months. And what happens on the fourth day is where it all comes together. So this is where I go through that list of goals, especially, and fine tune it. So there's only one goal per life category, one or two goals. And this is important because if you set too many goals for yourself, you're not gonna hit any of them. So I fine tune it down. I figure out what are the most important things I wanna focus on. What are the most important parts? And then I document it. I use an app called Bear Notes to track all of my journaling and note taking. I've tried a lot of them. This one is one of the best. I'll link the description below. And what I've found is that simply doing this every six months accomplishes a lot of things. For one, it's a amazing insurance policy to make sure your life doesn't veer that far off track. It's also an amazing way to protect yourself against wasting a lot of time. I think the, the sad truth is a lot of people in life will let entire years slip by where they didn't make any progress towards what they wanted to achieve and they didn't even enjoy the time. It was just pretty much wasted time. And, you know, Thoreau said the massive men lead lives of quiet desperation. And I actually think 
think that, you know, as depressing as that quote is, it's true for a lot of people. You just kind of go through life on autopilot as, a, uh, as an NPC, as they say. So this is how I make sure I'm always working on my life. And another thing I've learned in going through my life is it's really busy running a business, maintaining relationships, traveling, trying to stay in peak physical conditioning is there's just so much to do on day to day that it's very hard to carve out time to really look at where you're moving unless you are very intentional about that time, which for me is what these solar retreats are. Um, a few other things is I think it helps a lot to get into nature. There's been studies done how nature is literally a cure for brain fog in a sense, in that humans will think more clearly, have more natural energy when they're in a natural environment for an extended period of time. And I still love living in a city myself. There's a lot of benefits to that, but I think especially if you live in a city, it's really important to make dedicated time to get out of it and into nature. You know, we evolved in environments like this and we're not really from an evolutionary standpoint designed to uh, to thrive in a concrete city. And something I found as well is that I've actually come to really look forward to and enjoy uh, these retreats. It's energizing. I always choose places where there's lots of interesting things to do in nature. So in between my journaling, I'm going for hikes, I'm jumping in the ocean, sitting on the dock, enjoying the sun. And when I first started doing these, it felt very foreign. Even other people were like, wait, you're just gonna spend like $1,500 and go rent a Airbnb somewhere in nature by yourself? I was like, yeah, that's what I plan to do. Now that I've done it for a while, it feels very normal. And it almost feels strange any other way or most people they just go through life sort of fitting in their goal setting and goal evaluation periods like wherever it makes sense like maybe a Sunday afternoon here a Wednesday morning there or maybe they don't actually sit down with themselves until they've had a big life crisis that they need to look at like they wake up and they're 45 years old and they've been working a job they don't like for the last 20 years or whatever it is they're living in a city they don't want to be in they're in a relationship they don't want you want to avoid this this is like the you know insurance against having a midlife crisis is taking time away to really evaluate how your life is going. So two of the big focuses for me over the next six months is on business. I have a couple of new niches in my agency I really wanna build out. I've talked about these on my channel, but um, yeah, going hard to really scale revenue in a few new niches. And for health and fitness, I've been working with a new trainer, which has been awesome. I've been um, working out hard five days a week on a really dialed in nutrition plan and that's paying off. It feels amazing. For me, my goal is to keep really focused on that. That's all for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that uh, you resonate with and let me know if you do some version of this and, and what that looks like. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.